So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans more specifically. We're going to be looking at the, their Intrepid set. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. And yeah, I actually praise this armor a lot compared to the Siege Breaker armor, which was bad. Uh, the shader video, obviously, we're going to be showcasing all of my favorite shaders because if I if I showcase all of the shaders, I legitimately do fall asleep. So that I do apologize that most people are like, oh, I want this shader, but I, I'd i rather do that and actually have the video out than me fall asleep and then not have the video out because I keep falling asleep. So if you guys, oh, Hunter video, I, I don't, know, don't know if I mentioned this, but the Hunter video is right here. You guys can check it out. And I definitely like a lot of the sets that I made for the Hunters, and I definitely do recommend some of those as well because they're just so cool. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you guys can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help a lot. And I do think my content is worth it considering I post not only a lot of content, but a lot of fashion content as well. Like, not to toot my own horn, but I do think I post a lot more content than a lot of other content creators. And I'm not trying to throw shade. I just genuinely do think, like, factually... I post a lot so let me know what you guys think other than that let's get into it so to start off for this one we're actually gonna be using the intrepid exploit helmet and greaves so this one I actually think looks pretty decent actually for the arms we're gonna be using the chitin ramparts for the chest piece the TM Cogburn custom plate and then for the mark iron will mark so I would honestly say the mark is the only piece where you could actually just switch out and it would look probably better that being said, I was going for more like a down to earth type of feel. I definitely like this one. I think the males look a little bit better than the females. Um, but I will say this is the weakest one because I looked at, through the other ones uh, while I was rotating some of the armors. And man, this one is the most basic bitch set in this video. So if you're like thinking like this is not good, don't worry. The other sets are amazing. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Aside, oh, before that, uh, Tangled Rust is the shader we're using because uh, I actually don't know. I just kind of wanted to use that. So let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets and fair warning, I'm going to be using them again in the last set because that's how much I love these arms. For the helmet, ring walker helm. For the chest piece, we're going to be using the the Actium War Rig with the Grant Vicksburg ornament. For the boots, Wildwood Greaves. And then for the Mark TM Cogburn Custom Mark. So I actually like this set a lot. That being said, if you have arms that have more like of a, a tactical look, it's probably going to look a little bit better. That being said, the reason I like this one a lot is because the plate chest piece goes really well with the plate arms like it looks like it's enough plate that it looks like oh it looks like the same style almost kind of thing so that's why i ended up using it and overall i actually do like the set quite a bit females it's just the fact that the males look just bulkier and more like a titan and the females kind of don't i'm not saying i want the females to look as bulky it's just I don't know it's hard to explain to be fair when the females has a lot of positives to them as well it's not just negative uh it's the same thing with males like males you look really really bulky and cool but at the same time your shoulder pads can look really really like world of warcraft ish so it, th it, there's a give and take there but for the shaders sap toe tribe is what we're using because it's one of the best shaders in the game legitimately you can't even fight me on that because it's factual and overall i do like this set a lot but i will say it's like the second weakest as well like it's not the greatest because the third and fourth i think are just like super cool as for the next set, we're going to be using the Intrepid Exploit Plate. And this is what I'm talking about when I say this looks really cool. It's the fact that, like, for me, when I first saw the chest piece, again, because I haven't used it in a while, I immediately thought, like, I want to combine this with the Augmented Auspice Ornament for the Syntho-Seps because it's going to give off, like, that Jax vibe from uh, Mortal Kombat. And everything else was like, I'm going to try to go, like, a more casual look for this. And I really like how, I, how this came out. For the boots, Lost Pacific Greaves, what we're using for the Mark, Ringwalker Mark. And then for the helmet, Midnight Oil Helm is what we're using. So I absolutely love this set. That being said, I would most likely switch the boots out for the Ringwalker boots. I think that would have been a little bit better. That being said, the reason I didn't switch them out is because I'm using that those boots for the last set. So I didn't want to use the same piece from the same set if I didn't have to. And Lost Pacific Agrees looks really cool with this set as well. So I really didn't mind switching it out. 
And for the shader, Continuum Alloys we're using just because I like the gold, honestly. Like, I thought it was really cool with everything else. Uh, the only piece where I'd be like, honestly, you could switch it out would probably be the Ringwalker Mark. And funnily enough, the Intrepid Exploit Mark would have been a better choice because uh, reasons. I just It just would have looked better overall. And then the Midnight Oil Helm, as much as I like it, I would have probably switched this out for the Veritas Helmet just because the skull would have been a little bit better for the Augmented Auspice. But I really like where my head was going with this one because honestly... All the all the switches that I just said, I would most like just do those switches because that would have been a lot better. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And then last but not least, this might look familiar to some of you guys that saw my uh, Siege Breaker set video for the Titans. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. And it's funny because in that video, I explained like, oh, this looks like Saint 14's like brother because it's like very Russian look. But this actually this set was the first one that I made funnily enough um, this one was the first one that I made and then the siege breaker was the one that I made later so it's funny because this one predates the other one but I think the other one's a little bit better uh, for and you it's you, it's even more hilarious because I'm using the same shader as well which is the iron facade armor or shader for the arms intrepid exploit gauntlets with the intrepid exploit mark those two combos are really good together especially with the Valkyrian plate with the ringwalker grooves this one definitely screams uh, Russian soldier, almost Russian general vibes because chess piece gives off that vibe. I think the the holster on the mark looks really good with this as well. And overall, like I would I really want to mix and match the set from the other video with this one just to see how cool it would look. But overall, I do think some of these are bangers more so uh, the third and fourth. I think those two are just amazing. Not saying the first and second are bad. It's just not on the same level. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Remember that I have a lot of content coming up for you guys. I specifically have, oh man, um, armor videos, exotic videos, uh, shader videos as well, which I haven't mentioned anywhere, but we're going to be doing shader videos as well. We're going to be doing a short version and a long version um, just to showcase the shader. And we're probably going to do that in game so that way you guys can see it in real time. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.